lost that game in the first seven minutes of the second half. They came out with, with a little bit out of their shell, so to speak, in that second half and played a little different, didn't they? They played, they played uh, with a different pace on both offense and defense. Uh, you know, and, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't react well to it. I think we got, you know, what, what young teams do is they have three really good halves in a row and they get complacent. And that's what happened to us the first seven minutes in the second half. We, we did not look like the, the, the same team that played the previous three 20 minutes stanzas. Um, and that's, that's what cost us, and that's what we have to learn from tonight. You can't put somebody on the line 41 times, let them score 33 points of their 81 from the free throw line. That, that tells you, as a coach, that you are lagging plays, that you're, you're still not disciplined enough. And uh, when you lag plays and you're undisciplined against DU, you're going to they're gonna take advantage of it, and, and they did. Let's go to the last seven minutes too, BJ. You're up 63-59. And at that point, I mean, you really do, that, that, that's another, aspect, or another element or uh, segment of the game. Where when you're up by four, you can't let them again go to the line or kick it out, you know, for three corners, and that's exactly what happened. Was, was there a lack of I urgency think, at that point? I don't know if it was urgency. I think it was a lack of, of you can say urgency. I think it's lack of focus. I think it's young guys um, fatigued because we got in some foul trouble. We had some guys playing extended minutes, and, and uh, you saw some guys fatigue went out, and, and us get sloppy on the defensive end lose focus on on the game plan. I mean, and what I'm talking about is, you know, you're following 80 feet away on a, on a rebound, you're following 40 feet away, and, and you can't do that against them. There's no point, in, there's no reason to do that. And we were just undisciplined trying to make some me plays um, in terms of trying to make great plays defensively by getting a steal, getting a rip. Well, again, you're not going to do that against them. You just have to be solid. And, and be disciplined. And we, we weren't willing to do that in about four or five possessions. And that's and to me, that, that was the difference. And we were disciplined for 40 minutes Sunday. We weren't disciplined for 40 minutes today. And I hope that's, that's at the end of the day, that's all I want our team to take from this. Is that they, they saw how, how well they have to play um, mentally to win games at this level Sunday. They didn't bring that same effort from the neck up. Uh, I'm not faulting our, our physical effort at all. I thought we played extremely hard. We didn't play extremely smart. Um, I'll give your kids credit, too. They're down by six with four minutes to go. And let's get to the point where you said they played hard. Um, they, they, they really battled, battled, battled at least to keep their head above water at that point. And, uh, and, and at, at that point, then it comes down to one, one stake of possession. Uh, did, you, did you think maybe in the last five minutes of the game this could come down to one or two possessions? It usually does against them. I mean, just the style of play there. I don't you know. It's, at least with us, it always happens. Mm -hmm. you know, it's always been a six, seven point game either way. Um, it's hard to get separation from them. Um, and then when you do get ahead, they're always, you know, the way they shoot it, they're always able to get back in a hurry. So, um, yeah, I mean, we needed a game like this to learn another lesson. And, you know, again, that's, that's all I want to happen right now. My goal is to have these guys playing our best when we're healthy and everybody back in March, and this was just another chance to learn. And, and if we do that, then we're fine. If we, if we make excuses and we don't own this loss as a team, then we're not going to grow as fast. And that's going to limit our progression towards that goal of playing our best at the most important time of the season. Let's hypothetically look ahead a little bit. Starting the conference play now, is, is, is your team, I'm, I'm assuming you don't, you don't think they're, they're where you want them to be quite now going to the conference play, but I think they're a hell of a lot closer than they were three weeks ago. Oh, there's no question. There's no question. And, and they're doing some really good things. This is this was a heck of a heck of a test. Um, 
again, our, our schedule is not easy this semester, and that's going to do nothing but prepare us for different things. And, and uh, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if this is a championship team. On days, they show me that they're capable, just with their talent level and the way they compete. And the, my one question has been, can they value the effort from the neck up? And they've been showing me more days in the last two weeks that they can. You know, we're not there yet, there's no question. But um, uh, I feel a decision being made amongst a group of guys in the right, towards the right path, which is encouraging. And, and that's, that's, that's hard to quantify, but it just as a coach, through different things in practice, through different things in film, through different team activities that we do, I'm feeling this group move in the right direction, and that's, that's very promising. Where's that crew from, that referee group? They're all Big Sky guys. They're, they were all three Big Sky guys? 